Hi, my name is Hugh and I'm going to show you how to um, remove and replace the column in the SRI 8610 Cannabis Testing GC. The column is in the column oven of the GC. So first, remove the column from the detector. Take a wrench, 7 16 wrench, loosen the nut and the ferrule which hold the column in the FID detector. Same wrench, remove the nut holding the column in the heated injector. The column comes out, leave it on the side. Meanwhile, take the nut that holds the septum off the front of the injector and then remove the injector liner. Now, the reason we took the column out was because we wanted to cut an inch or so off the end of the column. So to do that, I'm going to give myself a little slack and then I use a tool to cut a small section off the beginning of the column where debris or other garbage may be um, deposited. So we, we like to use a triangle file. You give the column a little nick and then you break the column directly over your fingernail. It breaks nice and clean. There's also a tool that's called a ceramic scoring wafer. It does basically the same job. You use the hard edge of the ceramic to put a little nick into the column and then you break the column over your fingernail. In a pinch, you can use a Swiss Army knife. Be careful not to cut yourself. Put a little nick in the column and then break the column over the, the nick. Now to put the column back in, first examine the nut and the ferrule that you took off. If the nut and ferrule looks like it's damaged or destroyed. This is what a, a damaged ferrule looks like in the nut and this is what a new ferrule looks like with a new nut. Now this particular nut and ferrule is okay. So I'm going to slip this back on the column. Now after I do that I'm going to cut a little bit more off because I might have shaved some of the graphite from the ferrule into the bore of the column. So I'm going to take a precaution and cut a little more off. So then you stick the column back into the heated injector from the inside. I'm just going to tighten the nut up loosely at first because I need to position the column at the right spot in the injector. So to help me with that, I have a little tool. This is a, a long um, hex wrench, but it allows me to feel the end of the column so I can actually feel when I've got the column pushed all the way to the back. So there it is. I've got the column positioned all the way to the back and then I'm going to tighten the nut up to hold the column. The nut should be tight enough that no matter how hard you yank on the column it does not move. So now examine the injector liner. It should be clean, nothing inside, no debris. So slip it in. Notice it has a beveled end on one side and a flat end on the other. Stick the beveled end in and then replace the septum nut. If the septum looks like it's got a hole in it, then this would be a good time to replace the septum as well. Tighten the nut finger tight until it feels like it's really tight and then just another quarter of a turn. Now to put the column back in the FID detector, ensure that the column is sticking out about an inch from the ferrule and then reinsert and tighten the nut. That's all there is to it.